so this is the title of the experiment the measurement of thermal conductivity of a metal rod so the measurement of thermal conductivity of a metal rod so it is similar to the previous one in the previous one what we have done with spherical system spherical spherical er mane heat power power insulating powder er kon ek thermal conductivity first thing you have to understand that the spherical is not playing any role basically it is the measurement of thermal conductivity of insulating rod and we have used one two concentric cylinder setup for measuring that is that right we are not measuring the thermal conductivity of two spherical cylinders no basically we are measuring the thermal conductivity of insulating powder and for measuring that conductivity we have used one configuration and that configuration is basically the spherical coordinate uh, two concentric cylinders is that right here yes. here we are going to measure the thermal conductivity of a metal rod so uh, how we can do that anyone any suggestions suppose you have asked to uh, measure the thermal conductivity of metal rod so how you will design the setup start from the scratch so let's build a setup suppose the, we, the university do not have this setup so that is why we need to build up this setup so that we can use our mathematical formulas and laws and based on that we can determine we can uh, basically design the setup so how where we can start we already have some exposure আস্তার একটা মেটাল রড নিয়ে সেটাকে ইনসুলেট করতে হবে প্রথম কথা হুম দেন হচ্ছে লাইক প্রিভিয়াস এক্সপেরিমেন্টে আমাদের এলটিআর মডিউল ইউজ করা হয়েছিল তো আমরা সিমিলার একটা ইউজ করতে পারি এলটিআর মডিউল কোথায় ইউজ করেছিলে ও সরি 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 আমি মানে ওই যে মেজারমেন্ট করতে থা টেম্পারেচারটা আগে কি বলে थार्मल Yeah, I understood. There is a metal rod, and you have to measure the temperature at different locations. That you can do. Yes, sir, I mean, uh, sir, what I mean, sir, rod is just cylindrical, right? Hmm. Cylindrical, right? And I mean, what I mean, sir, if we co coat it somehow, uh, insulate it, then I mean, I mean, at the end, I mean, at the end, I mean, heat apply, heat input, and we will measure the temperature of the of the other end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Along the length, our heat content data, I mean, one to three determine, measure, measure. So you are saying, if I have a heat content, I will measure the temperature. The uh, yes, temperature measure, I will measure. This is the area that I will insulate. Yes, sir. But yes, I mean, total, we coat it. If it is cylindrical, then we coat it to totally. Okay. And and heat flux, how do I apply it? Sir, at the at the left most end. So I am going to give it a heat add. I am going to insulate it. and then laser the temperature at different points okay but the problem you have to understand that if it is completely insulated if this side is completely insulated and this side is completely insulated every time you are adding energy into the system as you are adding energy into the system this is the energy inlet but there is no heat loss from the system so the system temperature will continually rise 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 and finally the system will never reach to the steady state if it is not reaching to the steady state what is the problem we cannot measure we cannot apply this k into delta t by delta x this kind of mathematical approximations right so we have to give some provision that this heat must leave the system 
initially there is a heat supply and the heat is also leaving from the system after some time the system will reach to a steady state whenever the system will reach to the steady state then you can apply this mathematical this integration basically you have what you have done you have this rectangular coordinate heat transfer equation and you have integrated over 0 to l and finally you got this expression i'm not talking about the fourier law so the integrated form of fourier law so to reach the system there must be a heat loss otherwise the system will basically what happens suppose this is one bowl and you are placing over the oven so if we continuously supply gas fuel so what will happen the temperature will rise infinitely yes yes so finally the finally this uh, uh, this this bowl will get melted You can try this at home. No, sir. No. What will happen if we continuously heat one bowl? Just simply, our gas turn off. Gas air mode that a kodai ke rakhe do. The gas ta ke chaliye do. Continuously, to me, ita ke heat kore ya. Chhe ek ghanta, do ghanta, three ghanta. So what will happen? That during this period, the temperature will continuously rise. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. Sir, yes. The temperature will continuously rise. The second option. Temperature will rise, but after some time, temperature will reach to a steady state. So these are the two options. So second option. Uh, sir, second option. First iterator. Sir. Sir, it is a transient heat conduction area. Uh, 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 I'm just I'm lo just looking for the answer. One or two? Sir, two. Sir, two. Huh? One what, temperature and continuously I'm supplying energy. Yes, sir. Temperature will rise. Anyone? Bishal? Continuously rise for us. Akash? It's second option. Why it is happening? If you think about a control volume, you are continuously supplying energy from the steady state energy equation. What will happen to the temperature? The temperature will rise. Yes or no? Yes, sir. RQ? King Shuk, yes. Bishal, yes. Pritam? second option from your common sense you can say that this can be the situation okay but what about your theory you are continuously adding heat so it is continuously the amount of heat you are applying it will diffuse in the environment the temperature but second temperature but when I put on the steady stuff <laughs> Interesting. So it will absorb the temperature and shoot up the temperature up to a certain limit. After some time, it will not absorb energy. You are trying to say that absorb absorb it diffuse it. Then it will reach to a steady state. My question is that what happens to this point? Very common sense. These things are not very difficult. These are daily life engineering. So, it's property not... material lose. Property material lose. What is it? 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 Material so, other property change Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir
অনির্বাণ ওকে অনির্বাণ ওকে व्हाट অনির্বাণ মানে স্যার হুম মানে স্যার হিটটা যদি अप्लाई করি ওখানে কন্টিনিউয়াস লিম মানে इट्स টেম্পারেচার ইনক্রিজেস আনটিল ইট রিচেস ইকুইলিব্রিয়াম উইথ দা সিস্টেম স্যার ইকুইলিব্রিয়াম সিস্টেম বলে কিছু নেই এনवायरमेंट টেম্পারেচার 30 ডিগ্রি তুমি হিট সাপ্লাই করছো ইকুইলিব্রিয়ামে পৌঁছলো বাট হাউ দিস ইকুইলিব্রিয়াম ইজ বিইং অ্যাচিভড why it is reaching up to six, suppose like uh, 300 degrees celsius and then you can see there is no increment in temperature what our common sense suggests that the temperature will rise but after some time it will reach to a steady state my question is that why it is like 300 degree or maybe 250 degree what happens at 250 degree what happens at 300 degree স্যার মানে একটা ম্যাটেরিয়াল এর তো একটা হিট ক্যাপাসিটি থাকে তো সেই হিটটা যদি অ্যাবজর্ব করে না তো তারপর তো আরো হিট মানে অ্যাবজর্ব করবে না তো আর টেম্পারেচার কি করে রাইজ হবে এই ক্যাপাসিটিটা কি মানুষের মত না যে তোমার আমার যেমন ব্রেনে একটা ক্যাপাসিটি আছে যে সৌরভ স্যার এর বোঝার একটা ক্যাপাসিটি আছে ওর বেশি স্যার বুঝতে পারবে না ইজ লাইক সামথিং লাইক দ্যাট ইজ লাইক সামথিং লাইক অ্যাকাউন্ট যে ওইটা তুমি ওই জলের বালতির মত ওই অবধি ভরতে পারবে তাহলে এই কড়াইটাকে তুমি একটা চিমনির মধ্যে ফেলে দাও তাহলে কি ও মেল্ট করবে না ও একটা যে বয়লিং পয়েন্ট পর্যন্ত পৌঁছাবে এই মালটা প্রথমে তো মেল্ট করতে হবে মানে ফার্স্ট ইট স্টার্ট মেল্ট হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ স্যার ওইটা মানে ওর বয়লিং পয়েন্ট পর্যন্ত পৌঁছানোর পরে টেম্পারেচারটা কনস্ট্যান্ট থাকবে এই স্যার मानी or maybe something like a equal to b plus c i need to remember the formula one of these two will be given and i have to find out the other one is this the reason why for we are studying engineering or studying science if we not able to answer the question what is happening around us and may not be there are several cases we do not have this answer but we should have this question so let's try to understand onirban partially answered this question sir oi shomoy obdi koraite heat conduction hobe tarpor to radiation er porjay chole jabe eta ki onirban bollo hm erokom erokom kono byapar nei je byapar ta erokom na je hotat kore conduction hot kore jump hoye radiation hoye gelo erokom kono border limit nei ar ki everything is gradual if it is conduction convection all these are continuous curves it is not like a electronic circuit one zero up to this much it was one then it became zero or it before that it was zero then finally it became one it is not like that you just, we let's try to understand i don't know like i was suppose this is the heat flux that you are applying so basically you have a equation mcp delta t so this is the energy equation this is basically the heat in joule and you are supplying some energy that is why the temperature is rising so if i write down the equation my equation will be mcp dt by dt the rate of change of energy equal to suppose this q total burning rate of the fuel so the the heat that is released by this fuel is basically increasing the temperature of this but it is not only the equation there is also another term because of this temperature rise there is a difference between the ambient temperature and the substrate temperature so there is a heat transfer and this heat transfer if i try to model in a simplistic manner it is nothing but the temperature of the object and the difference between the temperature of the object and the temperature temperature between ob, difference between the environment temperature and the object temperature so now suppose it will be something h t minus 30 now suppose initially what will happen 
the value this q suppose it is 10000 and this h t minus t infinity as this t was only 32 degrees celsius this t minus t infinity is a very small term so that is why it was suppose 10 so basically you got a dt dt which is positive greater than zero that is why you can see a temperature rise but as the temperature is rising what is going to happen this difference is gradually increasing so it became 100 now the rate of change of temperature that gradually decreases then the temperature goes to 300 the rate of this term became almost 1000 and this dt dt that becomes zero so the t dt that goes to zero so the temperature will remain constant after reaching to this point why it is 300 i'm not sure i'm just taking one approximate arbitrary value but it can be 250 it can be 450 but i am trying to say that finally it will reach to a steady state and this steady state why it is reaching to a steady state because my heat supply that is a constant term and minus with the increasing term but initially this term is lesser than the constant value so that is why it was positive but after some time when it became the value which is equal to the source the constant that time it will reach to the steady state now if the object the rate at which it is sub exchanging the heat or maybe the heat supply if it is too high then the temperature will gradually rise and rise and rise it will reach to the steady state at very high temperature maybe at 900 degrees celsius but before that if the object if it is melt if the it is if it is crossing the melting point it will melt so everything became everything will be governed by some different physics suppose you are placing on plastic plastic bowl over the gas what will happen after five minutes it will start to melt because the melting point is very low so before reaching to the steady state it start to melt but if it is an iron 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 or maybe a steel container the boiling point is the melting point is suppose 800 degrees celsius or maybe 1100 degrees celsius so it will take a very long time to reach to the equilibrium to the melting point before that it will reach to a steady state I don't know if it is making sense or not. You yes. Any question on it one? Any question? So, I can MC delta. फार्सिटिफिकेट <laughs> Newton schooling, let me class, class 12 policy. It a word, sir? Tamanikas a convection, convection, convection. First thing, this is the object, and this object is surrounded by environment, and this environment is basically a gaseous medium. So there can be two possibility either it will be convection either it, and it is radiation so it is a mix of radiation and convection what i'm trying mm -hmm. to say i'm trying to incorporate the radiation sigma inside this h you already have studied that this h can be considered as a h overall and it will con consider the h convective as well as the h radiative this sigma minus t to the power 4 can be written as i think already you have read those things t to the power 4 minus yes sir yes sir yes sir. can be written as t to the power t, uh, but T Q plus T1 plus T T1 T2 just like broken as T1 minus T infinity. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. can be collected and written as a equivalent heat transfer coefficient. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
but that is the intricacy so i'm trying to something right trying to say something like uh, it is something like a tank you can see that you can all everywhere whenever there is a system reaching to a steady state suppose there is a tank and suppose this is a tank and you are gradually filling water and there is one hole so initially you are filling this water with a constant flow rate gradually the water level will rise but after some time as the water level is increasing the velocity at this point the root over 2g that is also increasing so after some time it may happen that after reaching to a certain state this will reach to the equal value of the flow rate the of, of flow rate of the supplied supplied water so that time the the height of the tank will never in, is not going to change have you thought about yeah. that yes sir i don't know if you just simply study like a mathematical equations and formula eta jodi tumar trigger na kore char pasher nature ta ke bojhar jonno science ta ke bojhar jonno tahole eta khubi upsetting ar ki এই থার্মাল কন্ডাক্টিভিটি মেটাল লোড পড়ে আমার কিছু হবে না কন্ডাকশন কনভেকশন এর থিওরি অঙ্ক করে কিছু হবে না আর কি যতক্ষণ না আমি আমার আশেপাশের ফেনোমেনা গুলোকে এক্সপ্লেন করতে পারছি বাট অ্যাট লিস্ট কোয়েশ্চেন করছি আর কি জাস্ট ট্রাই টু থিঙ্ক অ্যাবাউট অনেকটা বেশি বলে ফেললাম ওকে জাস্ট লিভ ইট সো দ্য টাইটেল অফ দ্য এক্সপেরিমেন্ট ইজ মেজারমেন্ট অফ থার্মাল কন্ডাক্টিভিটি অফ এ মেটাল লোড ওকে what is the final objective to determine the thermal conductivity of a metal rod as a function of temperature and study the temperature distribution along the length of the metal rod so this is basically the main objective and you told it rightly that i have one rod and one side of the rod is getting heated by some resistor and i have to place one insulation properly and I, as i told you that to reach to a steady state I, there must be a there must be a heat rejection system and you have to place the thermocouple as well as you have to put the insulation so that there is no radial heat transfer so this is one thing and the heat should be dissipated from that but if it is if you know that how much heat you are supplying and you also have to quantify that how much heat is being released from the system that that also needed to be quantified okay now if i show you the experimental setup what is there there is a heater and this heater is heating one metal rod this is the metal rod and there is a insulation this is the insulation okay and you have nine thermocouple on the metal rod end of the metal rod is basically exposed to a cooling water circuit so every time some chilled water is coming it is absorbing the heat from this exposed surface and leaving this jacket just like there is a pump so it is something like a circulation loop every time you are taking some fresh water and this fresh water is going it is absorbing the temp absorbing the heat from this place and leaving to a some dump again you are taking some fresh water so it is not like a loop so it is something like this and also what you are doing you are measuring temperature at four radial location as this is cent cylindrical thing so it is something like this this is the rod and you are measuring the temperature at two radial location here and also here two radial locations and also i am measuring at nine points any doubt up to this one the radial hmm ami bolchi basically basically jeta hocche je ei puro jinish ta axisymmetric mane ami jodi ei puro jinish ta ke niye revolve kori di it will be symmetric thing tale ei jinish ta ke jodi revolve tale amar ei khane rakha ar ei khane rakha eki byapar কেন আমার সিলিন্ড্রিক্যাল মানে আমার রেডিয়াল ডাইরেকশনে কোনো ভ্যারিয়েশন হচ্ছে না 
তো আমি এখানে এই সেকশনটার মধ্যে একটা জায়গায় রেখেছি আর এই সেকশনে দুটো জায়গায় রেখেছি থার্মালিটি but finally we received some value so similarly as you are putting insulating powder but still there will be some radial heat loss and this heat loss will happen in the radial direction because some heat is going there some part will radially go there and some part will radially go there and the remaining part will go to the cooling water so that is why to quantify how much is traveling in the radial direction we place two temperature whenever we have this temperature two temperatures i can find out what is delta t del r if i know the gradient if i know the conductivity i can find out how much heat is being lost is it okay yes sir yes sir right at what temperature it is coming to the cooling water jacket and at what temperature it is leaving the system from that i can quantify what is mcp delta t t in minus t t out minus t in তাহলে এখান থেকে কোন হিটটা বেরাচ্ছে দ্যাট আই ক্যান কোয়ান্টিফাই না আইস রাখলে আমি কোয়ান্টিফাই করতাম কি করে যে কতটা এনার্জি বেরাচ্ছে सपोज এখানে আমি আইস রাখলাম একটা আইসের ব্লক রাখলাম যার টেম্পারেচার ধরো 0 ডিগ্রি সেলসিয়াস এই হিটটা আসতে শুরু করে আইসের সারফেসটা মেল্ট করতে ল্যাটেন ল্যাটেন হিটটা তো ক্যালকুলেট করা যাবে না স্যার কিভাবে জিজ্ঞাসা করছি আর কি না ল্যাটেন হিট তো ক্যালকুলেট করা যাবে না আরে কিভাবে করব জিজ্ঞাসা করছি তো করতে পারি করতে পারি করতে পারি কিভাবে করব টেল মি দা ম্যাথমেটিক্যাল এক্সপ্রেশন আরে না বকা খেয়ে দুঃখ পাওয়ার কিছু নেই বলো মানে Yeah, that can be done suppose there was a fixed tank and it was initially filled at 0 degree celsius exactly 0 degree celsius and you started to supply heat that is why you can see one melting front if we can find out the melting front you know that how much water is being liquefied or how much ice is being liquefied so if you can quantify that mass you will know the mass into you will write down the hd and you can it makes the whole system more complex so we'll go for a more similar similar thing but where we can easily quantify simply m, m dot cp delta t any other questions ekta ekta tank ache ekta tank er environmental temperature water ache shei water ta ke pump kora hocche shei heat ta niye jacche diye arekta tank e fele dicche আবার এখানে ফ্রেশ ওয়াটার থেকে আবার চলছে এটা ইট উইল রান ফর এ হাফ অ্যান আওয়ার অর মেবি ওয়ান আওয়ার এনি ডাউট আপ টু দিস মাছ হ্যাঁ বলো এম আই অডিবল ইলেকট্রিক সাপ্লাই অফ দ্যাট হিটার সো ইট ইস হিটিং দ্য কয়েল অ্যান্ড দেয়ার ইজ এ সারকমফারেন্সিয়াল ইনসুলেশন অ্যান্ড এন্ড অফ দিস ইউ হ্যাভ দ্য কুলিং ওয়াটার সার্কিট so this cooling water is coming from here it is taking the heat and leaving in this direction so it is basically something like this this is the insulation inside this you have that rod end of this rod you have a resistor which is insulated 
and end of this this rod is passing through a water jacket the water jacket is something like this so the water is coming and going and leaving the system like this is it okay and similarly you have a voltmeter you have to find out how much heat you are supplying you have to find out the ammeter v into i you will get the power you have nine thermocouples along with four more five more thermocouple so you have almost 15 thermocouples so you have yeah you have 15 thermocouples and after that you have this heater power controller by using that you are changing the heat supply and it is reaching to steady state at different different temperature hopefully you get it if i supply the heater power what will happen the car will reach here if i increase it further it will reach to this point steady state if i reach if you heat for a further it will reach to this point okay yes any doubt up to this much fine so uh, length of the metal bar diameter of the metal bar test length of the bar where you have placed all, all your thermocouples the number of thermocouples inside the metal bar the number of thermocouple inside the insulation cell and the number of thermocouple number of thermocouple inside the cooling water heater coil cooling water jacket diameter temperature indicator dimmer stat for voltage control digital voltmeter digital ammeter you have also have to find out the m dot here if you want to quantify that how much heat is being lost t15 and t14 is not sufficient because we know that it is m dot cp delta t t minus t t out minus t in so you have to also quantify it so what you have done you have you used one measuring flux here so you will consider one delta t time and during that period you will measure how much water is being calculated and that m divided by delta t you will get m dot okay yes hey ja eta arekbar bolben na amake to mass flow ta calculate korte hobe because i need to calculate this q loss from this end so i have to calculate how we can do i just i will take the take the water circuit and place one measuring glass where you have the measuring flask where you have the water levels and you will consider for a delta t and you can measure how oh, much ha ha bujhte parchi even you can take about 500 ml 500 ml bottle cold drink bottle so you will feel it how much it is taking to fill 500 ml if you can find that and you know that unknown time divide by that you will get the volume flow rate and you multiply with the density you will get the mass flow rate any doubt so what is actually happening that this is the heat which is coming from this the heater side the heat which is coming from this if i consider one section cb c to b what is happening this heat is coming some part is radially co conducted through the insulating powder and the remaining part is traveling into the next section suppose i am considered if it is my control volume but this can be infinitely small because everywhere the radial insulation is happening but i can, what i can considering that i am averaging up to this part this part can be considered as a average one unit element now what is happening whenever the heat is transferring some heat is being lost in the radial direction and the remaining heat is going traveling in the forward direction after that whenever it is reaching to this ab section some part of the heat is being transferred in the radial direction some part remaining part of the heat is basically transferred in the water so this is basically the total heat balance mechanism so now if i consider this is my aa section so if is if this is my aa section at this section my heat balance equal to ka dt dx at this end of this surface and that is equal to mcp t15 minus t14 is it okay 
heat loss from the end of the solid surface heat loss from the end of the solid surface is basically heat loss from the end of the metal rod is basically equal to the rate of energy that is being transferred into the water is it okay okay sir what is the assumption assumption is that the cooling water jacket is perfectly insulated otherwise whenever the heat is being supplied some heat may be lost into the environment is that right the first thing next if i try to write down a heat balance equation at this interface what i can write that the heat which is coming which is which is going from this surface bb interface which is coming through the conduction is basically the heat that is basically transferred here and the heat basically that is transferred in the radial direction so if you think about this interface a interface the j heat ta dhukche shei heat ta dhokar pore tar kichu ta kharcha hocche radial direction e loss er jonno insulating powder er moddhe diye ar baki ta transfer hocche water e tale ei surface theke koto transfer hocche seta ke already ami quantify korechi tale ei quantification er shonge jodi ami radial direction e je heat loss shei ta ke add up kori tale i know what is the heat transfer from the bb so i know what is the heat transfer from this surface now if i try to again write a heat balance equation at the cc surface that is cc surface is a heat transfer task that is q dot cc so q dot cc is basically the conductivity at that point the cross section area and dt dx at cc that is a point is cc heat transfer ami jani that heat is being equal to a surface is a heat transfer ta hocche tar shonge a tuku pot cholte cholte the amount of heat is being loss due to the conduction to the insulating powder tale amake tell me if this is the reality tell me that now tell me that uh, how to quantify heater power from here can we quantify heater power from this expressions am i audible yeah. yes sir bolo bolcho na keno are ki mushkil ha हाँ क्यों बोल बे? और क्वेश्चन टक एक तू बोल बे क्यों? ये क्वेश्चन तो है कि भावे हमरा हिट पावर टप आबो मतलब हिटरे पावर टप आबो। सर आमे बोलूँ? हाँ। ओके okay. हाँ सर मतलब ये हिटर टर सर पावर टप हो बे वो क्यू डॉट ए प्लस ये टू पाई के एल टी ट्वेल्व माइनस टी थर्टीन बाय एलएन टाम टा प्लस टू पाई के एल टी टेन माइनस टी लेवल बाय एलएन टाम टा मैं तार मतलब क्यूसीसी की हिटर पावर यस सर बाकी रा बुस्ते बात से नहीं किसी तो अरे थक छेड़ दो तो अरे आज के हमने बंद करी ये खाने तो हमने तो कंडक्शन पड़ो तार पर यार हमने पड़ा सुना करूँगा कि 
জুড়ে পুরো হিটটা তো মানে ফ্লো হচ্ছে নথিং <laughs> মেন সুইচ so this is the sequence so these are the readings that you need to take and you have this mathematical formulas first to calculate the volume flow rate multiply with the known density at that temperature you find out what is the mass flow rate mass quantity collected and then you collect the mass flow rate and we know this t15 t14 and m dot i can find out qaa i know the radial location temperatures at this section basically i'm traveling basically i'm traveling in the backward direction so basically i'm trying to quantify the heat from this direction this is known this you quantify you will get this this you know this you quantify take a sum of this you will get this so we are moving in this direction so what we are doing you are calculating how much heat is being lost to the water then you quantify the radial heat loss you find out qbb if you know qbb then you quantify what is happening heat loss 10 11 <laughs> so this 10 11 is re representing this point so this is the heat loss in the radial direction in between this section from this you quantify what is the value of qcc so this is the procedure and what we can do that a p9 if i can quantify these individual values If I can quantify QAA, QBB, and QCC. If I quantify these values, what I can do? I can know this value, and I just simply find out the temperature gradient at that point, and I know the cross section area. So I can determine thermal conductivity at each of these sections. And if I can find out the thermal conductivity at each of the section. and this section has some specific temperatures because there will be a temperature gradient there will be a temperature gradient if there is a temperature gradient so this point i will get a conductivity from from the heat balance this point i will get a temperature conductivity at this point by heat balance and at this point also i will get a thermal conductivity by using heat balance so and these correspond to different different temperatures sir insulator ta thermal conductivity kibhabe pabo ক্যালকুলেশন and plot k as a function of t these are the temperatures that you can see and yeah this much 
now what you can do after explaining this i have pasted one link in the youtube in the in the google classroom okay okay sir just you see this video then we can clarify the doubts just you see check this video the best thing about this particular event yeah it is 16 minute so you watch it then we can discuss about the doubts is it okay okay sir yes okay so we will meet at 12:5 then i'll start to ask question one by one okay whatever doubts okay. i have rohit am i audible rohit am i audible yes sir yes sir do you have any doubt क्या <laughs> আচ্ছা স্যার আমি এটা নিয়ে একটু ভেবেছি না মানে কি হ্যাঁ তো আগে ফার্স্ট ইউ ওয়াচ দিস ভিডিও দেন উই ক্যান ক্লারিফাই দিস ডাউট ওকে স্যার 12:05 12:05 আচ্ছা ওকে